Today, we are thrilled to reveal the very first image of the supermassive black hole at the heart of our own Milky Way galaxy. This image from the Event Horizon Telescope required more than just snapping a photo from telescopes at high mountaintops. It is the product of both technically challenging telescope observations and innovative computational algorithms. Taking this picture proved even more challenging than imaging the M87 black hole, which we revealed to the world back in 2019. To understand why, let's go back to how our telescope works. As Vincent mentioned, the EHT doesn't work like a regular telescope. Instead, our radio telescope shakes hands. They work in pairs, with each pair contributing a little bit of information to the entire image. Telescopes that are far apart can detect the smallest, sharpest features of the image. Orientation is also important, with each angle picking up different parts of the whole. Telescopes that are closer to together become sensitive to the broad features of the image that the wider pairs can't see. And combined, these components of the image can provide a good representation for the target we're observing. Making a perfect image would require telescopes at all different orientations and separations. But EHT's eight telescopes scattered around the globe only capture some of these potential pairings. Luckily, as Earth rotates, the projected separations and orientations between the telescopes change, providing more, but not all, of the information we need to make a perfect picture. As Michael likes to say, taking a picture with the EHT is a bit like listening to a song being played on a piano that has a lot of missing keys. Since we don't know when the missing keys should be hit, there's an endless number of possible tunes that could be playing. Nonetheless, with enough functioning keys, our brains can often fill in the gaps to recognize the song correctly. This was also the case for imaging M87 star. But for Sag A star, there was another daunting challenge that we couldn't ignore. The hot gas spiraling around these two black holes moves at roughly the same speed. But where gas takes days to weeks to orbit the much larger M87 star, for Sag A star, because it's a lot smaller, gas can make a full orbit around its event horizon in mere minutes. And that means as we were collecting data during the Earth's rotation, the material was swirling around Sag A star so quickly that Sag A star's appearance could change from minute to minute. This is a bit like changing the, uh, the key of the song as we are playing it on our broken piano. We had to address all those challenges, along with many other challenges that I don't even have time to get into, like the fact that we're observing the black hole through Earth's turbulent atmosphere, as well as the galaxy's gas. And to tackle these challenges, we spent years developing computational imaging algorithms that allowed us to recover a picture of the center of the Milky Way with the collected incomplete data. But the question remained of how do we fill in that missing information? To capture the range of potential Sag A star appearances, our team produced tens of thousands of different images with different methods that filled that information in differently. Each of these images is slightly different, but they are all consistent with the EHT data. By averaging these images together, we're able to emphasize the common features appearing in most of them. And here, a bright ring clearly pops out. But it's important to note that not all the images that we recovered looked alike. In fact, we found that we could cluster the recovered images into four categories based on similar visual features. Three of the clusters contained a ring-like feature with only differing brightness around the ring. However, there existed a much smaller fourth cluster that contained a variety of images that did not appear ring-like. Although these non-ring images couldn't be fully ruled out from the data alone, the vast majority of the images that our algorithms recovered had a ring shape. And through literally years of exhausted tests on both real and simulated data, we're now confident that there is compelling evidence that the true underlying structure is a ring. A detailed analysis of the images has revealed that they all share the same ring size a size in perfect agreement with prior observations and theory. 50 micro arc seconds, or in other words, a size 1 13th billionth the span of our night sky. Coming to this conclusion took years, but we never backed away from the challenge. 
And through the power of computational imaging, the EHT team overcame seemingly impossible hurdles to capture the first image of the beastly black hole at the heart of our galaxy. And now I'd like to introduce Michael Johnson from the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics to discuss what this picture of the black hole teaches us and our excitement for the future. <laughs> 